A couple making sure no child goes without this Christmas, determined to give as many kids in the Sheboygan area as possible something to unwrap. They've created a network that gives even total strangers the opportunity to pay it forward. Yukari Nakayama shares what drives them to give back to their community. Welcome to Santa's workshop. Me, Kathleen and Scott Labonte of Sheboygan, or Mr. and Mrs. Claus to many. That's right, this couple has made a list and... 29 and 30 are together and that's the only one that's here so far. They're checking it twice. This year, they're making sure over 100 families and over 200 children have something to celebrate this holiday season because someone helped them out when they needed it most. We had been in the predicament several years ago um, where between medical trips and stuff back and forth from the UP of Michigan to Children's Hospital, um, we had fallen behind a little bit on our mortgage and somebody had stepped up and they had made our mortgage payment for us so we didn't lose our home. We figured now we're in a little better spot than we were then, so there has to be some way that we can help somebody else out. The Labontes have been taking care of their granddaughter Madeline since she was a baby, and she suffered many medical issues. They moved from Michigan to Sheboygan to be closer to Children's Wisconsin over six years ago, and in 2020, they decided to make a difference in their community when Scott created the Sheboygan Area Pay It Forward Facebook page. On December 13th, 2020, I came out from the bedroom from doing homework and my husband Scott looked at me and said, I think I just did something I might need your help with. Since then, the Labontes dedicate each day to do something for others in need. Whether that means feeding the homeless, providing hats and gloves, providing furniture for those who just got off the streets, you name it, their Facebook page has got you covered. It was uh, doing whatever you can to help someone in need. That Facebook page now has over 6,000 members, and the number keeps growing. It's even become a nonprofit. We are a 102 non-stock corporation, which is a registered charitable nonprofit in the state of Wisconsin. And we are in the process right now of turning that into a 501c3. I had never imagined it would have grown to this point when I started. Um, it was pretty emotional. During the holiday season, the Labontes say things kick up into gear. The need for help even greater. Their priority making a change in a child's life. It popped up on our radar really quickly when we started the group and we provided Christmas for 28 children. Last year was 304 children and this year is... We're at 294 this year. 294. Families in need can sign up for help while others sign up to help. No kids should go without Christmas. You know, they need something to open. They need, you know, and, and we try our best to make sure that, that they have something under the tree. Their workshop stocked with all the toys and essentials for a child, bags on bags of gifts assembled in the Labonte basement. Their favorite part of it all? To see the light in their eyes when you are able to provide that, it just fills my heart. It, it's amazing to be able to do that. So what started with a kindness delivered to a couple facing a difficult time has spread forward in a way that can only be described as Christmas magic. We're not from here. Nobody knew us. Nobody had any clue who we were. And so I'm thinking, well, nobody's going to step up and, and give to somebody that they don't even know, somebody that's not even from here. I was definitely very happily mistaken.